Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Remake Remaster, episode 8. And um, I kind of already forgot everything that we're doing. I, uh, I think we're going outside. And I have this with me, so I think I think we're going to the cabin. I don't remember if the zombies out here are still out here. I don't know if I killed them. Did I kill them? Did they? Did I burn them? If I did, and I feel like this is something important to remember because this door might break. I really don't want to have to kill these guys uh, and then have to come back and burn them. Oh, there we go. That was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Yes. Okay. Because that doorknob would be broken and then they probably make me take the long way and that other hallway is filled, filled with zombies. There's something written in the indentation. The Defiler of the Accursed Coffin. Here you go. Oh, gosh, that was super close. Oh, all right, fucking dog scared me. That's cool. Uh, we got some of that and we got some of this other stuff. Hmm. Do I need any of this stuff? I don't remember. Well, I'll take that. I'll take the battery pack. I feel like I might not need the health thing just yet. And the shotgun shells, I don't want taking up too much space. Although I think I can I think I can take them. I'm pretty sure we don't really fight anything on the way to the cabin. We should be alright. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's like a zombie. I think there's some birds. Man, this looks good. I really, really, really love this game. It seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. North, a valley of destruction. South, cave of hatred. East, summit of madness. West, path of revenge. I think it's just north and south, but I don't remember which was which. There's a switch here. Press it. Yeah, I think that's right. So the first time I played, it's like, okay, well, that's letting you know you're coming up against something. You're probably not going to like it. Uh, no, that's wrong. Ugh, come on. Oh, there was a point in time when I could get these on the first shot. All right, there we go. 
I brought the wind crest this time. Usually I totally forget all about that and it's something I do on the way back. So this will be the first time in however many years since this game's released that I actually brought the thing with me. Now some people are not creeped out by birds in the Resident Evil series, but I totally am. I think birds are really creepy. Even when someone has like some cute like little uh some cute little like budgie or something like that. Like I that you think birds are creepy as hell. There's something written in this indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? I feel like this is like a super easy puzzle piece. Because you really don't have to figure anything out. So it's it's barely even a puzzle. Let's examine it. Moon crest. There's a button. Will you press it? Sun crest. There's an icon depicting the sun. Anyways, you see how this puzzle feels kind of lazy? Like all you had to do was just this. And then it's not like you had to put them in a certain order or rotate them a certain way to make sure they fit. Now admittedly, I never use this gun as much as I should because I'm the kind of person that likes to save these sort of things for uh, like boss fights and stuff like that. It's loaded with magnum rounds. All right. But uh I do kind of want to kill some more regular enemies. I feel like you get enough ammo that it's okay. I can't remember what happened in the playthrough when I when I did this as Chris. So I don't remember how many extra rounds of stuff that I had. Another thing is if you save all these big weapons. Okay, you could hear the poor little Lisa. Um, if you save all these weapons for the bosses, they make pretty quick work of the bosses. And I feel like that's not, I don't know, I feel like it takes away kind of some of the danger. A large statue stands silently in the darkness. Hmm, is that zombie only on the way back? Oh, I think I went the long way. I don't think there's anything to examine out here. A faint light shines through the crack. Maybe it's a sign of life. I really do think that uh that Lisa was a really nice addition to the to the remake. This firewood looks fresh. And I guess she still has a lot of her mental faculties about her to like start fires and keep warm. But I wonder why she hangs out in this cabin. Cause she has her own little room. 
a number of bandages have been hung up. Could these brown stains be blood? Well, we should better hope so, or else someone's decorating the place with feces. There's a map of the courtyard. Take it. Okay. It's not like anyone would really get lost, but... Family picture. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attached first, mom attached sconed, inside red and slimy, white and hard, not true mom wear, don't know dad, found mom again, when attached mommy, she move no more, she screaming, I guess I could be attacked, attacked, I don't know, why, just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you, though. Uh, the American education system. A crude bed. It looks like no one's used it in a long time. Let's see. I guess we can put this away for now. And I want to say I can probably put these away. And I might want to take some health. That should be good. I hope. Will you take the crank? Yes. It's a crank. There's nothing unusual. The end is shaped like a square. Okay. Maybe I should make a double health. Just because uh, Lisa hits pretty hard, <laughs> and uh, Jill's not quite as tough as Chris. A mixture of two green herbs. Okay. Oh, wow. That's still kind of spooky. And that's really spooky. Ouch. I wonder what it was trying to do. Like it dragged us to the floor in front of the fire. Maybe it was examining us. Like maybe it could think like we're its mom. She flips out. Oh, and you can see her really creepy face under her mom's bag face. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. Guess we're going to go ahead and use that right right away. Oh, man. That's like... It's one hell of a high five you got there, girl. I was really hoping to get out of that untouched, but... Uh, I don't have that kind of luck, I guess. Okay, let's try not to run into the arms of this zombie. Oh! That was fantastic. Alright, cool. It would be kind of interesting if maybe Lisa would chase you. The very first time I played, I was sure like that's what was gonna happen that that's what the whole deal was um and that's why I, it's not really a maze that little area but there's kind of like some twists and turns and i thought it was just that you can get lost and i guess they do eventually use that kind of gameplay later in the caves where you're 
running around and just Lisa's just in your fucking way. So it is cool that they that they did do that, at least for that part of the game. But yeah, the first time I played, holy shit did I haul ass. I was super scared of of uh Lisa. And I didn't do it this playthrough, but where you click on the, the the gate behind the stairs, you know, and you can hear her just like moan. Got anything to say about this stuff? Uh, yeah, well, the first time I heard that moan, I was like, oh shit. Like, that just sent like shivers up my spine. I gotta say, the first time I played this game, I was genuinely scared. I was young, but not that young. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. And the very first time I was like, oh my gosh, one of my video games just said a fucking bad word. This game's so mature. I don't know, it made me like it made me like Jill so much. Alright. I'm not gonna bother you guys. It's cool. No. Let's not do anything crazy. Oh shit, alright. Uh, fucking dogs. <laughs> There's supposed to be some blue herbs out there. I didn't see shit. I don't want to get poisoned. That's my least favorite fucking thing in this game. There's a square shaped hole here. I think the resolution on this little cutscene looks kind of like not very good. But I remember really liking the way that water dissipated in the original. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Although really that waterfall should not be keeping you out of that secret entrance. I feel like they should, I don't know, like maybe say this water is some kind of bad water like it's some sort of chemical or something like that so it's like you don't want to touch it that's why you wouldn't want to just swim across this little pool and it's also why you wouldn't want to just walk under that waterfall because it's like tainted water or something like that i don't know it's just a bunch of zombie piss or something because it's just regular water those come on suck it up kid get your shirt wet and just get in there Okay, what are we supposed to be doing? I guess we could come over here. What is over here? Some kind of transparent creature is swimming around in the water. I've never understood. You can't do anything about it. Don't you burn. Oh, shit! Ouch. fucking birds anyways like I don't I've never said that like is that a reference to something else should I have been worried about that oh snakes uh. wasn't this supposed to be a red herb have I played this game too many times on normal that playing on hard I've just I've just forgotten all of these things Oh, that's a cool shot. Yeah! Sorry, I just, I really like Jill Valentine. I really, 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 really like her. Oh, a little blue herb. One single solitary blue herb. Take it. Oh, you can kind of hear like moaning in the distance. That's a lot spookier than I 
than I remember. But then you hear that music and you feel okay. The shelves contain buckets and rope. The rope looks freshly cut. I wonder why. Why would they... What? Like, what in this game is... Has rope? I would take it. You never know when you need rope. Okay, let's put this in here. Let's go ahead and get this out. We're probably going to need this stuff, maybe. Yeah, I think I want all this stuff with me. Let's put this away. And get this. Gotta do this item management. Okay, we'll put that back. We'll take this. We'll fill up our canteen here. That's why I didn't want to do it back at the mansion. Okay. I wonder if I can even go into any of the other doors first. I don't think so. I think you gotta go into that room with the spiders. It's locked. The door plate reads 001. Yeah, we got to go into this room first. Which means I'm going to want to put some stuff away real fast. I think there's kind of a lot of crap to pick up in that room. Let's put that away and... Whatever, let's put everything on top just for right now. Don't need this. Oh, yeah, I guess I could put that away, too. I think that's all I need. Now, to me, I feel kind of lucky that I am not afraid of spiders. I don't like them. The only reason I really don't like them is because they can poison you. And I don't like the idea of being poisoned. I have a fear of being poisoned. That's why I don't like needles. But as far as spiders go, I don't care that much. There we go. Spire, yeah, like spiders, I mean like bugs, they're just so tiny compared to a human. We're ginormous. Okay, there's our health. If we need it, a red oil lamp, it's not lit. Well, let's go ahead and light it. A strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Now this puzzle, I know I was complaining about the Windcrest puzzle being too easy. This one seems way, way, way too obscure, don't you think? I mean, I don't know how you would guess that you would need to remember all this stuff. Could it have some kind of meaning? I don't know. I mean, the door that that's supposed to be protecting or whatever, like that's, that's one secure fucking door. A leather jacket, part of it has been burned by acid. The partition is decorated with dishes. That's like my aunt's house, she puts up all these goofy plates all over the place. I guess they're collector's items. I collect a lot of stuff though, so I guess I can't blame her, but I don't really, I don't know about collecting cups and plates an advertisement for an arm wrestling contest the winner will be named chief for a day of the raccoon police department again that is a horrible horrible prize and there's a sexy lady behind there there you go that's got to be a rude awakening No, 
Oh, shit balls. It's one busted open ass. Look at that. That's like a... That's like a Russian porn star prolapsed anus kind of ass right there. I've spent too much time on the internet. I'm really sorry. A strange silhouette hovers in the orange light. Could it have some kind of meaning? Hmm. Got anything to say about this ass, Jill? No? Just rub your face all over it. Okay. Some billiard balls. Two, three, four, five, six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order. But. But what? They're just fucking billiard balls. Like, who would possibly, like, it's got to be some sort of clue. This has to mean something. It couldn't just be that people were fucking playing pool. This is important. A guitar case. It's empty. Well, maybe if we find a guitar and put it in this guitar case, it'll open up some kind of secret passage. Another pretty sexy bikini photo up here. Found the guitar. Seems like a nice, like, manly man club. We got ass and titties all over the walls. Fucking arm wrestling competitions. The bunch of barrels, which I can only assume is just full of, like, whiskey. Just people just come down here. Just, I don't look at all these beer bottles. Oh, wine bottles, like, scattered about. They're all empty. Yeah, see? Some fucking party people working at this umbrella corp no eyelashes will you take the red book will you take the first aid box nothing to say about this bar too bad we can't go around the side get some liquor or something like that I don't know you know like for safety purposes like maybe we might need to make some molotovs and or uh, maybe use it to sanitize a wound or something like that or maybe maybe we might, to, might have to do some kind of I don't know might have to suture a leg up might want to take a couple of shots you know, numb our body up and dull the pain. That might be counterproductive, getting, you know, a little buzz before performing, like, self-surgery, but... There's nothing unusual. Insert first aid kit case. An herb mix of green and blue herbs. Thank goodness. Okay, the sound just cut out for a second there for some reason. It's a book with a red cover. Mm-hmm. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Okay. I don't think we use that red book right away. Well, you know what? I think we're coming at like about 30 odd minutes. So we should probably end the episode here and in the next episode. Did I even get anything? Why the fuck did I even come in this room? I got this. Shouldn't I have found like a key somewhere? Am I am I forgetting something super important? Huh. Well, whatever. I'm sure I'll figure it out in the next episode. So um, until then, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.